commercial space programs are part of the DNA for orbital ATK here um, in Dulles, Virginia. And so when we embarked on the COTS program, there it was not a dramatic departure from our current best practices for commercial projects. So a production uh, approach or mentality to managing a program like COTS is critically important. Now the, the subtle factor is that COTS was the, the leading project for a larger program called CRS, uh, Cargo Resupply to the ISS. Without that follow program with uh, going almost concurrent with COTS, there is no production approach or production environment for doing COTS. We actually needed to have the follow-on project and all of those vehicles in flow already authorized to proceed in order to, to yield any benefits from what we'll call a production environment. The, the situation here at, at uh, Orbital ATK in Dulles was not one where we were um, leveraging parts or devices or subcontracts in the other programs production lines. In other words, we do commercial space programs here on, on this campus. We were not leveraging their procurements and their parts to do COTS, except for perhaps in one instance that I can think of. Um, largely, the, the advantages yielded from being in a, in a production environment were yielded by having COTS and CRS going concurrently. And that was invaluable. I mean, we, we, uh, we had uh, multiple instances where having, having several vehicles in flow and several sets of flight hardware in flow yielded huge benefits to the COTS project and its ultimate success. From a risk management standpoint and uh, the human rating for, for COTS and CRS, well, by having multiple vehicles in flow, that gave us the flexibility for dealing with technical issues and problems offline from the first vehicle that was going to fly. So when, when, when we had multiple hardware in flow and we identified a problem, a design issue, or a bug, or a glitch, we could go investigate it offline on a future vehicle, a downstream vehicle. We could figure out what was wrong on that vehicle or on a test bed. We could go to separate sets of hardware that were in flow and we could fix that hardware. We could modify that hardware. We could retest that hardware. And then we could circle back to the COTS demonstration vehicle and swap that hardware out uh, in, in very short order. So, so in, that, in that context, we could manage the risk of dealing with technical issues by fixing those issues as opposed to always having to find reasons to fly it as is, excuses to push it forward. We could actually afford to fix things because we had enough hardware and flow to make that possible.